What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Guna Sauce with a post-match analysis of Manchester United versus Arsenal. Ended nil-nil, but what a game end-to-end. -end. A game of two halves. What a game that we had. You know, Arsenal missing some of the most key players that we've had. Tierney, Saka and Aubameyang. All three out. What a display from the boys. They've got to be proud of them, so they've got to give themselves a pat in the back because all it took was just us being 5% more clinical and we could have won that game. Second half, we come out, you know, throwing ourselves at the game. We could have won that at any point. You know, it was a brilliant display from the lads. First half was a bit of an appalling. I don't think we had a good start to the game. I thought United did put us on a back foot and it wasn't. It wasn't what we wanted. Um, they seemed to have the better chances. Not to say we didn't cut them open, but I don't think the referee helped. I think with the Bruno and Cedric situation, and then Bruno going on to Xhaka and putting his literally his you know studs into the Achilles heel um, didn't help. No bookings from the. You, we know what the referees are like. We know what Michael Olive is like. We know we're not going to get any decisions going our way. You know, so we've got to exclude that. We've got to you know look at what we've done and what we could have done to get ourselves a goal. <clears throat> now, all I'm going to say is Nico Raskla Pepe, my man. You know, he's redeemed himself tonight. The last two performances have shown what we've paid the money for. He just needs to get consistent with it. He just needs to continue driving at players. We've seen the threat he was today. But for me, for me, the toss-up is between David Luiz and Granite Xhaka, what a performance them two had today. What a time, what to see that, because Party did not step up to the plate today. He was not great today. He had sloppy moments. Yes, he had his moments where he played very good, but overall, I was disappointed. I didn't see the party which we bought. It could be the fact that he's now played three games in a row um, since his thigh injury. He could just be a little bit fatigued. Does he need a rest? I do believe he does. I think we need to drop him because of the amount of games we've had in a row. But uh, nevertheless, man, Xhaka stepped up today and we've got to give him his plaud. It's been, even if you're against him or with him. David Luiz, oh my God, did he command that box? Did he display that he put on today? What a player. What a player. You know, he had such a defensive masterclass today. This is the player we wanted from Chelsea. This is the player we wanted to see. The man that, you know, is the senior man. You know, the leader. Shouting at players when there was silly things going on with Smith Rowe and Martin and he were losing the ball. He was screaming at them to say, focus up, you know, we need to win this. Then we look at the first half. I think it was all United. I think they had the bigger chances to to put the game away in, in, in a sense. You know, we they weren't clinical. They didn't take their chances. Bruno, for me, I've always said it, Bruno's one of the easiest players to mark out of the game. He's not pressure resistant. He's not got the ability to play in many ways. The minute you press him and the minute you stop giving him room to breathe, he doesn't know what to do. He is not as good or as effective as he needs to be. I said it from the beginning, Pog was going to be their biggest threat, and he was. He was, you know, he ran the game. And the truth is, they're a team and they're playing together. That's when they play well. But we locked them down. We defended well. And then we move on to what we did. What did we do in the, in the first half? Not a lot, to be honest. Yeah, we cut them open a few times. You know, we got through and goal. We've had a few shots. But nothing that, you know, really sat there and said, yeah, do you know what? We could have won that in the first half. It was the second half, the way we started. The first 15 minutes of the second half, William Pepe, one of them goes in. Just one of them would have gone in. We would have won that game because they did not look like scoring. Yes, they had the chances, but they weren't up for the battle today. They just didn't want to lose. And that's the way they played. We took the game to them. You know, we didn't have three crucial plays. We, we could see Saka being a missing piece to the jigsaw today. Saka playing would have been immense. We could have won that game today. But well, for me, I want to talk about Pepe because defensively, attackingly, man was doing it all today. And you know what? We've got to back this man because we can see the potential he has. We can see what he can bring to the table. It's just about showing it now. And then you look at Lacazette again. You can't, you cannot, you know, exclude his performances at all. You know, he's been 
absolutely amazing, you know, when he, when it comes to the press, when it comes to, you know, pressing a man, when it comes to just being that point and the vocal point and the central point of our attack. When we look at Smith Rowe, he had moments as well. He was sloppy, but then again, he's been, I think it's just fatigue. I think he's been played and played to the point where he's now looking at, you know, we need to rest him. That's why I bought Martin Odegaard in. I did, I did think this was the game to play Smith Rowe and arrest him against Wolves because I think he's due a rest. I think it's overdue. I think it's time we need to give him that, that break. And then we look at Martin and winning. To be honest, William, he had so many moments to redeem himself. And he's he had a good game, in my opinion. I don't think he played bad. I don't think he played great either. It was just the finishing. And this. I think he's just lost his pace. He left that back at Chelsea. He didn't bring that with him. He doesn't have the pace or the acceleration to get away. And that's when you start looking at other attributes, like your dribbling or your ability to just make a pass. Nothing just backwards, negative. But then he had some moments where he put the ball into Pepe and that could have won us the game. So we just, just, just that clinical edge. We lacked the clinical edge that we needed. Arteta, I think, did an amazing job considering everything that went against him. We know how important Saka is. We knew Aubameyang and Taney were a high, high doubt. Aubameyang just being ruled out way before the game even started. So we already knew that Aubameyang wasn't going to play, so we could have adapted our game plan from from day. And Saka and Pepe, I think, would have been fine anyway. But losing Saka the way we did with a sore hip, you know, I think it is more precautionary just to make sure it doesn't become a major injury, which is brilliant. I don't think we should, we needed to risk it. This game, it would have been absolutely brilliant to win, but it wasn't the game of the season. We didn't have to win this game. It's the games that. You know, against the lower sides, you know, they point. We got a point, you know, we've got four points against United. When did we ever, like, start fully competing against the top six? We've beaten Chelsea, we've beaten United, and now we've drawn to them. The only thing that we now really need to focus on is how we're going to beat Liverpool and Man City and really get competitive. Let's be honest, 1-0 against City, you know, 3-1 against Liverpool. Yes, they look bad, but the performances were there. And we're getting there. We're getting the starting eleven. We're getting a few fringe players to start performing and getting them in form. You know, I will be doing a player rating soon. You know, this is just a quick, you know, post-match analysis of what I thought about the game and the way it went. I'm just disappointed that we didn't win. You know, how did we go from being, you know, oh yeah, Saka, we're missing Tierney. Okay, now we're missing a Bamiang, to being like, huh, we might get a result to being, you know what, this is a full-on disappointment it's it, it just goes to show we need to give Arteta time to build this squad up he needs the resources he needs the time to build and that's why we've got to be patient come on you gooners